So when we defrag our mind, it makes our lives a lot better. Because all of a sudden, all the cloudedness and all the confusion and fragmentation um, tends to subside. When we're thinking clear, we're making better decisions. But here's another problem that lies deep within our psyche. You know, we were molded and shaped by our environments, by our parents, our lack of parents, by opinions and peers and ideas. And we're our own people. We're free agents with free wills, but at the same time, uh, circumstances kind of sit with us. There's a lot of things in our mind that have been programmed. Programmed and put there by people's opinions and people's ideas and standards that people had that we were eager to please and maybe even disappointments in life and frustrations and things that didn't go quite right that broke our heart. They say that a child's personality is developed by around age six. That doesn't give a lot of time for a parent to mold and sculpt that child. As a matter of fact, the horrible thing is if for six years that child isn't fed the right things and they're not given the kind of encouragement and nourishment that they need to grow, they can be really damaged. By the time they're six years old, they can be so damaged that it can go all the way into adulthood. And when my wife was studying psychology, I took an interest in it because she kept sharing little tidbits with me. And one of the things I asked her was, I said, you know, one of the things that they talk about with kids is some of them get really deep impressions made. A kid can have somebody come and do something to them or something can happen to them that just pretty much sinks into their mind, sinks into their spirit, sinks into their soul. And it makes such a deep impression that all the way through adulthood they're still carrying this. It's still a huge dent. And sometimes the things that stop us from moving on inside of our mind are things that have happened to us or circumstances that we've gone through that we haven't been able to overcome because there's such a huge dent that was left in our life by something. And so I said to my wife, how can you erase something that's been imprinted into you as a child or something that's been imprinted into your life? She said something really interesting. She said, you can't erase something like that. But if you want to get over it and you want to overcome it, what you have to do is you have to create a new imprint that goes deeper. And then pretty soon, that new imprint becomes stronger and larger and more powerful than the old imprint that's there. You can't fix what's been done to you in the past. But you can change how you think. You can change how you feel. You can alter your future with the choices that you make today. It's up to you to make sure you're putting a stronger imprint into your life every day than the imprints that have been left behind by others. Maybe when you were a kid, somebody told you you were stupid. Maybe somebody told you that you didn't look good enough or you didn't act good enough. Maybe somebody told you that you didn't deserve anything good in life. Those can be wounds that go so deep that we could hardly ever overcome them. It's up to us to make a new imprint. It's up to us to think about the things that we can achieve and the things that we are good at and the people who do love us for who we are. Today, I'm going to decide who I am. I'm going to make my own imprint, and I'm going to make it bigger and firmer and stronger than any other imprint in my life. It's time to take your life back.